Hey guys, it's the Andy san here to review Bamboo Blade. Have you ever wished you could be in a Japanese high school? Yeah, you and me both, although the homework would kill me. How about in a Japanese high school kendo club? Not sure? Well, it's time to spin Bamboo Blade in your DVD player. Bamboo Blade begins as a story of Moreau High School's kendo club, instructed by Toraji Ishida, a hopelessly poor and unlucky fellow with a short temper to boot, and his only member and captain of the kendo club, Kirino Chiba, a girl who's energetic and always positive. When Ishida-sensei is challenged by his senpai, who runs two kendo clubs at two different schools, he becomes becomes determined to gather a five-woman kendo team to defeat his senpai and win free Tokyo-style sushi for a year. Now, Moreau High School's kendo club consists of Torja Ishida, the down-his-luck instructor, the five-woman team, and the two-man team. The five-woman team consists of Tamaki Tamachan Kawazoa, the shy child prodigy, and Kirino Chiba, the insanely positive captain, Miyako Miyamiya Miyazaki, the cute girl with the dark side, Saiko Sayochan Kuohara, the eccentric random girl, and Satori Satorin Azuma, the talented but clumsy girl. Now, there's also guys on the team too. The two-man team is Yuji Nakeda, a sincere and talented guy who looks out for Tamachan, and Danjiro Don Ega, a small and slow guy who is Mia Mia's boyfriend. Now the storyline. Although Bamboo Blade uses the old Japanese high school premise, it's much more than that. The story really captures what it's like to be in a kendo club, albeit with some out-of-the-norm occurrences. It's told with loving care and doesn't go for excessive amounts of fan service. Not that there isn't fan service, it's just subtly tucked in without having it in the spotlight. I give it an 8 out of 10 for an excellent take on a cookie-cutter subgenre. Now the animation and music. The animation quality definitely gets the job done, and it especially shines during the critical action scenes. The music is pretty catchy too. I'm totally digging the ending theme's dance funk feel. I give both the animation and the music a 7 out of 10 for a good, but not mind-blowing, job. Characters. This is where Bamboo Blade shines its brightest. The character development is top-notch and makes this anime definitely rewatchable. 10 out of 10, no question. Enjoyment. I haven't thoroughly enjoyed an anime from beginning to end like this since Love Hina. And the ending just makes you beg for more when a second season is hinted at. Another 10 out of 10 for pure enjoyment. Overall, Bamboo Blade is a breath of fresh air among the cookie-cutter high school subgenre of anime. The characters develop nicely, the animation and music is satisfactory, and I would definitely watch this again in a heartbeat. Overall, I give this anime an 8.4 out of 10. This is the Andy San signing off. You have a good day.